And Dr. Carl Cabasal joins us once again to look at this new study. So what did it find? Well, basically that in terms of sudden unexpected infant death, it's a, it's a problem that thankfully is rare, but there are some key findings from the study that sort of drive the recommendations that we'll talk about a little later. So let's uh, look at some of the stats now. So basically what they found was that 71% of the children who died were younger than four months old, 64% were sleeping with another person or pet, and 24% were sleeping in a crib, which is actually the right place. Uh, you don't want kids to be in an adult bed, you don't want them sleeping on a couch, you want them on a nice firm mattress in a crib. Mm -hmm. All right, well, let's speak more about those recommendations and how can parents lower the risk? I understand you, you have some uh, friends here to show us. I did bring some uh, props. So now it's always tempting to want to put your child to bed with nice cuddly stuffed animals or bumper pads around the bed. This is actually a no-no. You don't want anything soft or cushy in the space that could uh, pose a suffocation risk. You also want to always put your child to bed on his or her back. Back to sleep is the mnemonic. Every time you put your child to sleep, on their back. You also don't want them to overheat overnight because that can be a risk factor for SIDS. So make sure they're dressed comfortably but not overheated. Now, the American Academy of Pediatrics also has some helpful hints and uh, we want to share those with you as well. So first of all, use a firm sleep surface with just a sheet over top of the mattress. Don't share your bed with your child and also don't smoke during or after pregnancy. Now, cigarette smoking is actually another risk factor for SIDS, so we want to keep smoke out of a child's yeah. environment. All right, very good to know. Some valuable and uh, potentially life-saving information.